Hey guys, what's up? This is AJ. Welcome back to another video. So, one of the comments I got recently was how to uh, add a lava pit where the player takes damage in certain intervals using on trigger a stay. So, uh, this right thing right here is a cube flattened out, and we are gonna assume that this is a lava pit. <laughs> And uh, let's see how we can make the character take damage in particular intervals, I assume. Using the box collider trigger over here. Uh, so the trigger I have set to true. And Shinjon animations, this video is for you. So uh, without further ado, let's get started. Mm, so before that I have just added a script. Uh, this is basically just an empty script and I'm gonna uh, I have uh, called it stay damage So I have attached this script to the cube now. Let's go to the script and edit it Actually guys we can do this uh, with both on trigger enter as well as on trigger stay so uh, first let's try doing it with on trigger enter so I'm gonna delete this data and update on trigger ender. Here we are gonna first check if the other game object has a health component attached to it. So that we can call the method take damage uh, to send in a damage that the character has to take once it has uh, stepped into the lava pit. So if the character has a health component we are gonna have a instance of it set to health the variable here so other dot get component health now what we want to do is we want to use a coroutine and call take damage method in the health script after a particular interval of time repeatedly so let's uh, create that coroutine uh, let's just call this take damage and uh, let's say we have two variables inside this uh, one's a float for the time and the other is the health instance of the character so what we can do here is we can just is this to call health dot take damage and pass in a damage amount so uh, let's create some fields here a float for the time we want to wait before between between each damage the player is going to take let's set it to 5 as a default and also let's set the damage amount to 5 as well so we are gonna say health dot take damage damage and then uh, let's say we wait for the time amount that we passed on here Now we go to take damage, go to implementation. Here we are just, yeah, this line is uh, to modify the damage that the player is taking. If he is uh, equipped with the item which reduces the damage or something like that, which I have explained in a previous video. So you can check that out. And uh, here we are reducing the health points of the character. And here we are just spawning out a number from the top of the head of a character so that we can know how much damage the player is taking so that's around that's about it for taking damage method now if we do this and let me call the coroutine over here so let's say start coroutine and take damage time comma health now we hit play 
and if we move the character towards this uh, lava pit we are gonna see that the character is gonna take damage only once because we have used on trigger enter so it's gonna trigger uh, the take damage only once when the character enters the lava pit and yeah if you see the damage has popped out of the uh, top of the character's head now uh, one thing i want to show you is uh, if we jump then the character is going to come out of the lava pit then go back in again then you are going to see the character take damage again because the character is again entering the lava pit so yeah that's something now to make the damage be taking place in particular intervals of time we got to go back to visual studios and we have to uh, let's say set the trigger to false once the player has take dam taken damage and then set it back to true again after we have waited a certain amount of time so uh, get component box collider dot is trigger equals false and once the waiting time has passed we are going to set it back to true again so guys uh, if we move the character towards the lava pit again we are gonna see that the character is gonna take damage after particular intervals because the trigger is getting set and reset after every five seconds because that's the time we set there now to do the same thing with on trigger stay we're gonna go to visual studios again and we can just uh, change this to on trigger stay and the same thing is gonna work now as well so if we switch back to unity hit play again and uh, move the character towards the lava pit again we are gonna see the same thing yeah so all good now i guess but the difference between on trigger stay and enter is that if we remove this setting and resetting of the trigger let's just comment this out here and if we go back to unity and play again we are gonna see that the character is gonna take a whole lot of damage without any in between time for those damages or any interval between those damages so yeah this is what's gonna happen and that's because the character is taking damage when it is inside the lava pit and once it gets out it's gonna go away so the on trigger stay is gonna work as a update method and on trigger ender is kind of like a start method so once the character enters the lava pit it's gonna trigger once for on trigger ender but the on trigger stay is gonna be triggered as long as the character is standing in the lava pit so that's the difference i wanted to show so guys another way you wanna you can do this without switching the trigger on and off is by adding a boolean variable here so let's say take damage and set it to true uh, now we can get rid of uh, these two lines because we are not going to be using them and here we are going to have a check to see if uh, take damage is true so if it is true we are going to come here then we are going to call health dot take damage and send in the damage amount then after that we are going to reset the take damage variable and uh, we are going to set it to false so let's uh, say take damage equal to not take damage and after the time has passed we are just going to set it back to true again now if we switch to unity and uh, yeah let's just hit play and see if this works out so we got the character running towards the lava pit and when he enters the lava pit we can see that five damage has gone off the head of the character and after some time another five has gone off and this is just gonna uh, repeat itself as long as the player is in the lava pit uh, once he gets out he's not gonna take any damage anymore. as you can see so uh one not even a problem 
yeah uh, one thing with this is that uh, this is not going to work with on trigger enter this is just going to work with on trigger stay so yeah guys uh, i have kind of given you uh, three different ways of doing this so you can choose whichever one you want to so if you like this video give it a thumbs up let me know your thoughts in the comment down below and please go ahead and subscribe to my channel that would really help me out until next time see ya bye